Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we fully explored the 13th floor, at least what we can explore of the 13th floor, without getting back into it, without the maybe the purple crystal key, maybe the next staircases that will lead me up again. Um, for the moment we're stuck with this, and we found the restoration point up there, and we are going to deal with these little crocodiles down here now. And um, it's probably going to be a tough fight. We have to take both of them on at the same time because they are standing right next to each other. Which is going to be troublesome. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try my best. But um, we are going to get two turns of doing damage to one and then the second one joins in. And they do a lot of damage. We did get a damage upgrade ever, ever since we dealt with the last one. So um, hopefully we're able to do this. They are muck dials. Why am I doing this? Well, uh, we dealt with it uh, with one of these guys last time, but he didn't drop anything. And he most likely has an item drop associated with him. So we're gonna try and get that. We're gonna try and get that item drop. I also have access to a boost, so that self, that boost itself is gonna be worth a lot. It's gonna be worth a lot. I'll use a mo boosted multi-hit instead of an Apollon. No! No! Fun! I clicked out twice. I know I did. I just... I'm... Oh, fun. That has happened multiple times in the past. That is a big problem right now because that other crocodile is rushing in. Rushing in to aid his comrade. Oh, man, that was a problem. That was a problem. We're gonna have to deal with two of these guys, so... Yeah, that's the kind of problem we're gonna have to deal with. And Chuckles did not make it any better, man! You really didn't. You really didn't have to do that. Alright, the thunder damage was one of my main parts of attacking. I probably should switch Chuckles and Eric's places, because on Chuckles it's much more of a drawback for her to not, you know... Uh, get a turn than with Eric. Well, usually Eric's turn is w really... Oh, God! With two... Oh, if both Mokdiles use that skill, then I'm dead. And I didn't save, did I? No, I most assuredly did not save. Okay, we'll provoke. Well, Arbuckle's gonna survive that, and um, we are gonna be able to... Yeah, that warrants a boost itself. Good lord, though, if both, both guys use the biting skill, I am dead in the water. Dead in the water. Good lord. No, 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 no. 137. When did I level up with Eric and did I allocate that skill point? I most certainly didn't, did I? I'm gonna have to look into that. I do not remember doing that. After this mock dial, I'll be able to... ...take as long as I want with the others. Attack before the mock dial. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Nice. Okay, now I can take all day. All day. Just don't die. Don't die, Keenan. I will use the Apollon for 200 damage. No! There was a lot of TP wasted with Eric. A lot. I was expecting him to do less damage and to go on our buckle. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Why does it hurt so much? Well, Keenan is my main damage dealer. Not only Chuggles, but also Keenan. And I'll have to make my way back to that healing point. And with Eric not having any TP left? Uh oh. Uh oh. The worst thing is about Cure 3 that it costs a ton of mana. And if you waste it on a character that's dead... 
Jeez. Jesus. I don't want to be you. Cure one doesn't do enough. I will have to use Amrita. Don't attack Keenan. Please, don't use Bite. Just don't use Bite. Normal attack and it missed Keenan. I want to use a boosted attack. Yeah, vastly increased strength is not that accurate. This self is probably not gonna cut the mustard. He's going to use the um, he's going to use the AOE skill this time, and I am not gonna be able to finish him off. I'll just maybe. That's gonna do more than a hundred damage to Keenan. Oh, we did it. Nice. Gator skin! Hello! Okay, uh, let's walk back to the restoration. Uh, do I want to leave with gator skin? Gator skin sounds like a nice thing. That sounds like a defense item, and that sounds like a defense item I want. I'll teleport out yet again. I know it takes a long time to get where I want it, but... Um, I, I'll I'll go through it again. I'll have to go through it again. Again, I'm sorry. I, sh I you know I should have gone to the thirteenth floor and picked up the quests that unlock. That's I didn't think ahead. I did not think ahead that time. We don't have any results to report. Fond memories of you. Horned monster in the forest. You know, the only really large horned monster I can think of it is Kern Yunos. That is only Kern Yunos. I guess we'll look into Kern Yunos' location. But first I will sell all my junk. Including Braven 2. I'm sorry to all the Braven users, but I'm not gonna be doing that. And we don't need three of each. Two is enough. Gator skin. Hard skin covered with wedge-shaped scales. Unlocks hide cape. Red blade again. Nothing again. Shiny goo. Nothing again. Three bug nests. Nothing. Five carapaces. Unlock the great axe. Seven duble. Hmm. Seven duble and the great axe. Yup. Want seven duble. Oh, hello, sir. That is something I'll buy three times, isn't it? I don't care what I have equipped with those, uh, those with my other characters. I don't care about the four agility if I get plus eight defense and plus ten TP. I don't care. Hide cape does defense plus two HP plus fifteen. Hmm, thick mantle made from tough crocodile hide. Two defense is not impressive. Fifteen HP on the other hand is not bad. Not that good, but not bad. Okay, first things first. I want to look at my items. What do I currently have equipped? Stud vest, chain boots do what? Nah, too good. 10 defense, too good. Great axe for the bardage. Are you kidding me? Right, that's the item I unlocked. Damn it. Too good old choker. Hmm. I'll leave that equipped. You trade that for the seven duble. Gum helm. 
beer gloves. Beer gloves are not good. You trade that out for the seven double. You have an old choker and beer gloves. I need something better than beer gloves. Red charm is not good either. Defense plus one, TP plus five, and you have a helmet and a vest. Okay. Still using the red charm from the very beginning. What else could I use? That is not for Medic and Alchemist, except for that one. Helmet she already has. Bear gloves are the best gloves I have. Chain boots are not for her. Could equip her with plume boots, but that's not enough. That doesn't warrant getting rid of the, the red thingy. That doesn't either. Ailment resist, maybe. Not maybe, that's way better than beer gloves. Question is if I want that on Barracus as well. The enemies have had some pretty annoying, uh, they've had some pretty annoying um, ailments. And I'd rather not deal with it. What? what? If I have the ch star charm, why did I never pick it up and equip Chuckles with it? Because I'm dumb, that's why. Ocarina. Now that's what I'll do though. I will equip them with the ailment resistance instead of the red charm and the beer gloves on Eric. Stats down, I know. Same with you. Amber ring. That's okay. With Barracus I'll actually keep the old choker and the beer gloves, although this is not a good loadout. I've got to get the damage somewhere, and we have probably missed out on a lot of items already. I'll sell all the other things. The Great Axe, I should never have bought that. I should have looked that up first. But I didn't, because I'm dumb and never think ahead. You know me. You know me full well. I'll leave and look at um, the Rada Hall business. Kez, Report Discoveries, Monstrous Codex, Red Claw, Mockdial, Moriana, Meltworm, Woodbat, Kill Claw. First of all, Mandrake. Did I have the third item? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that. Wood bat. Bat wing, nothing else. Elastic shiny goo, dark mist. Moriana, carapace and bug net. Wait, what? Um, a large forest bat rarely poses trouble to adventurers who keep their wits about them. Melt worm, giant worm that makes its home near water, asphyxiates its prey in the manner of a snake. Moriana, or Mori, yeah, it's Moriana. A forest dragonfly, large enough to make meals of passing labyrinth explorers. This does not look like a dragonfly. Looks like a dragon, that's right. Red claw, fear eye bleeder, and it, it does drop another item that I have not yet gathered. Man eating bears whose fur has been stained red with the blood of their victims. Jeez. Jeez. Kill claw. Drops red blade, has ripper. This ruthless crab shreds adventurers to ribbons almost as, for, as if for sport. Magdial, bite and gator skin. This creature, which evolved in the forest, can swallow human-sized creatures in one gulp. Yeesh. Royal Ant drops something that I have not gathered, and Cornunos drops something I have not yet gathered. Hmm. Who knows what those are? We'll get the we'll get the mandrake drop right now. I know it's gonna be boring getting that mandrake drop. We'll I'll I'll throw a treat in. I'll also deal with a lot of mammoths. I'll also deal with three mammoths. Let's say three, because I want to. 
I want to show the mammoths to his boss. Because in the past, I have been annoyed by them, and I want to turn that around. Just a little bit. Why do I even do this? I wonder. Now, oh, okay, I guess attacking is faster than selecting it, so escape with every character. You know, the thing what, that I should wonder about is why I don't use Stalker. Because there is no Mandrakes that can appear here. The only... What? Are you kidding? Keenan is hurt. I didn't heal up. We're gonna have to find a rest... Ra Where's the next rest... Ra uh, there is only one er 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 restoration point on the... Um, on the... Eighth floor. The verdant in between. Not that these guys weren't the use of restoration points, but still... I shouldn't let myself hang so much. So it's probably not a deer that got her item. It's probably Cornuno's. But this is... Um, I'm just walking around here to get the Mandrake drop. How I get that is a is mystery to me right now, but um, we'll get it. It's probably just attacking it with a um, thunder. But if not, it's gonna be difficult because I don't. I only have Volt Magic. I don't have, like, flame or anything with me. So, that's actually something viable I could pick up with Keenan, honestly. The fire strike, the thunder strike, and the ice strike. Hmm. That's probably with the butterflies as well. It's not just attacking them with elemental damage, it's attacking them with thunder element. I don't know. Preemptive strike, that's free. Those guys are literally horned. They drop horns. I would like to deal with a Mandrake and get that item. It's probably already way too late to unlock that, but it's unlo gonna unlock me something because I got all the other pieces of the puzzle. puzzle. I got all the other items in that general area already, so that Mandrake should give me some good stuff. We might as well gather a couple of scythes as well while doing so. Yep, Mr. Stalker is mad. The Golem is not there because I didn't accept that quest yet. One turn? That uh, guy still takes a little bit of working on. Not much, but a little bit. Harvester. I never looked at the stalker the right way. Okay, that's a new item for me as well. Harvester. Cool, I killed him with a thunder, that's why. Let's get another one of those. Let's get another harvester. Mandrake? No. Do 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 do. Stalker, I'm there for you. Do, 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 do. I want another harvester. Thank you very much. That's my last true. Well, not my last, but still. Barracus's TP have dropped to almost zero. With at that point, I cannot deal with mammoths. Don't can't I? It's hard. It's too much for me right now. There's another harvester. Let me deal with a mandrake. Let me, let me, let me deal with the Mandrake. There is one. And one Thunder for the Mandrake.
And let's hope that's it. What do I get? I already got vines from Mandrake, and the other thing is... Can't remember. And what else? No, I already know those. Hmm... I'm gonna have to fire them, don't I? Or freeze them. Hmm. What are those? With Keenan, the um, Blazer requires swords and TP. Shocker is not necessary, but Blazer and Freezer. Hmm. Like, Keenan is the only character that it's viable with to decrease him by 10 levels just to be able to pick something else. Because this 2 slash is not doing it. It's the 2 hit skill is shit. The proc rate is too low for it to be useful. It's just like a critical hit and you cannot depend on a critical hit. You can't. So it's better to either, you know, focus on either axes or swords, and swords seems more viable. Okay, I've already wasted three three here, but the cleaver, I guess I would put one into cleaver. Or th these all slash, all, okay, all slash requires you to have two hit. A sword skill that hits a group of enemies two to four times. This is the only reason to pick up true two shot, two hit. It's the only reason to, because of this skill, because that has it as a requirement. Sword skill that hits a group of enemies two to four times. But is that, um, like, is that Keenan attacking two to four times, or is that Keenan attacking everyone two to four times? That's something I have not yet found out. That's what I need to find out. But Blazer, Freezer, and Shocker sound awfully nice. I might end up redoing the levels on Keenan. But um, taking away 10 levels from Keenan is... If, you can imagine it. It's not taking away 10 skill points. Taking away 10 levels is taking away his complete offensive potential. Currently he's my strongest class or my strongest character. If I take away 10 levels, he's not gonna be. He's gonna be a wimp. He's gonna get his ass handed to him. Until he levels back up to level 40, which took a long time. You might remember that it took like 10 or 15 or 20 episodes. Hmm, Mandrake. How am I ever going to find out how to get that drop? I guess by selecting Giggles and going down here again. Which I'll do right now. I can't. I don't have warp wire. Fun! Go. Do it the good old way. Do it the old way. The way you, you you are used to. Just walk back by, on foot. Walk back on foot. This is a problem though. Um, unlock or finding out how the, the secret items of enemies are dropped. That is not... If, if you come across it randomly, fair enough. If you don't, hmm... Finding it out is not cool. Like, finding out what enemy you're supposed to experiment with. Okay, fair enough. But having to experiment with boss enemies. A no-go. It, like, it takes like 20 days for them to respawn. And then you have to experiment. Then, and then you have to go to the inn 20 times? What? No. Can't honestly imagine someone to do that. That's bull. That is bull. And I'm not talking about an animal right now. It's just unfair. Or waiting for nighttime. I, I guess I have not been going around exploring at nighttime at all. That is something I could do. We don't have to save. We, we don't have to sleep. Exploration at n nighttime might yield new enemies to deal with. And I have a lot of empty spots in, on my uh, character sheet if you didn't see it. 
There's a lot of empty spots there because some enemies probably only disappear during nighttime. And I have dealt with the ones that appear during daytime. I guess we'll walk back and continue our exploration during nighttime. I am done. Arbuckle, stalker, please, please do me a favor here. Just this once. The good thing, stalker lasts 30 steps and every time, you know, uh, the, the clock in the bar top left of the main screen, um, the, the advances once every uh, time you take 30 steps. So, um, it's pretty good. We were looking for a horned monster. I expect that horned monster to be um, Kernunos. So we'll go to the third floor and try to go to Kernunos. But the question is, do I heal up first? And I think I do. Nah, I can't. Because sleeping is sleeping until evening or until morning because you can na cannot nap right now, not during nighttime. Which is stupid. You can, in the early morning, you can sleep through an entire 40 to 24 hours, but you cannot nap through 24 hours. Well, I guess that's not that stupid. You cannot nap through 24 hours in real life either. And on the other hand, you can nap for for um, 24 hours or not. Well, you can just completely sleep for 24 hours or not at least not get out of bed in that period. That is something I've done in the past. Not that I should be proud of it. Uh, Rada Hall don't have any more report discoveries item what else Bugness, shiny goo shred nail red blade harvester gator skin of course i only looked at ah bone shard sharp shard of a frog bone that contains steel bat wing wings supported by three bones carapace Gigantic shell made of steel, buck nest, Moriana nest material made of oak branches. Glass eye, shiny goo, oily fluid that creates a rainbow dye. Glass eye, glassy frog's eyes, crab leg, curved crab limb with steel joints. Shred nail, thin nail used to shred meat. Ant honey, cluster of honey stored in an ant's abdomens. Corundum, ore that shines blue and red when polished. Red Blade, Blood Encrusted Crab's Pincer, Harvester, Skies, Scythe Capable of re Reaping Anything, Gator Skin, Hard Skin Covered with Wedge Shaped Scales. What I wanted to look at is Stalker, yep, Scythe and Harvester. I did not look at the three question marks down the bottom. I never did. What happens if I sell a harvester? Nothing. Oh, that's a... That hurts. That hurts so much. You can't even imagine how much that hurts me. I'm still thinking about turning Keenan into more of a uh, sword fighter. I'm thinking about leveling him down to level 30 again. <sighs> Those skills are just not cutting the mustard. Will he be able to be that strong in combat afterwards though? I want him to be strong. I want him to be stronger. He has to benefit from this. He's not going to have two hit anymore, which is good if you want to get an enemy down but not kill him. Because two hit is a random chance for him to not do what you want him to do. It's more, uh, you know, you can expect what he does. And with two hit, he always has a chance to do exactly the opposite of what you want to do. If you expect the two hit, he doesn't do it. And if you want him to normally attack, he does the two hit and kills your enemy. Sometimes it's a problem. Yes, Hellcry Arm Heal is never going to be something I pick up. Could go into the sword route, and that has 
elemental strikes and it has all strikes. Single target damage, AoE target damage, elemental damage. That is very, very high flexibility. Instead, what axes offer is single target. Stun rate? Yeah, that's not been, you know, exactly the same as with a two hit. It's not stunned once. Silencing, the binding chance. I don't know what binding does, though. These are not impressive. It's very unimpressive. The only thing that's impressive about axes is the high damage output. And then again, if you compare it to swords, um, I, I'm using the Bardage. It's a top tier item. It's above the level that I'm currently at. And Arbuckle Sword, uh, Arbuckle's Claymore has 80 damage, which is not that much. And that is on the same tier as the, the 100 damage axe. So the only benefit axes give is 20 additional damage. And 20 additional damage is usually 20 defense you don't care about. That's why Keenan does so much add damage to, to high defense enemies. But I guess elemental damage gets around defense as well. You'd expect. Like, you know, it, it has its part melee damage and part elemental. And the elemental damage um, gets, uh, you know, downgraded by the enemy's resistance and the physical damage downgraded by the enemy's defense. I don't know how exactly that works yet because, as you can see, there is no such stat as resistance. There is only defense, so maybe... Now, nah, there is definitely elemental resistance as well. Just not a stat you can see. I'm not gonna do it. The drawback is too large for... Uh, it might end up... When, when Keenan is at level 40 again, he might be stronger than he is right now because I'll have less points completely wasted. The skills are gonna be at a stronger point. But apart from that, it's a huge investment because that takes another 15 episodes to get him to the level we are at right now. And then all the other levels are going to be five levels higher than him. It's not a, a, not a, a point where I want to get at. And um, we'll, we're going to have to stick with what we've got because the enemies do not give enough experience for, for me to warrant this. Okay, so that's where we are at. That's the decision I make. I'm sorry. We're probably not going to see those items because that's what, um, that is what the elemental strikes would have yielded. More, ver no, more ability to, um, more ability to deal with enemy, uh, shenanigans with the, the special drops. We'll save the game right now, and in the next episode we are going to check out Kernunos' place, and then we'll go down to the 13th floor again. And to the 14th. For the moment, though, I hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, this, not this, well, this game as well. This episode as well, though. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much, and I'll see you. Bye-bye.